everyone. So now this is a class for my bloggers who I love. This is where I originally started. I was a blogger and I remember back in the day, I mean, it was the thing. It was way before video. It was way before social media. Blogging was the way to connect with other people on the internet. So I absolutely, uh, you know, love blogs and I love being a blogger and all of that, even though now I focus a lot on video, but I still put my videos on my blog. Okay, so how do you actually get people to pay attention to your blog? Because that, that's really what you're here for, not the history of me. Uh, the first thing that I want to tell you to do when it comes to growing your reach on your blog is number one, finding other blogs and supporting them. Listen, if you want to actually get people to pay attention to you, it's gonna all come down to relationship. That's really what it comes down to when it um, when you're trying to create a successful business in any capacity. You have to actually build relationship in order for people to see you, to know you, to like you, to trust you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find maybe a blog that you really love. Like one of my favorite blogs is um, Natty Michelle or Nadia Abelhausen. Abelhausen? Can't remember how to say her last name, but it's something like that and I love it. I love those two girls. So I often go onto their blogs and I comment. I comment and then the cool thing about blogging is that you can usually leave your, uh, your handle, whether it's to Instagram or your website and your blog right there. And so when you create a, con um, a comment that is either one incredibly funny, really interesting, or just a really nice thing, more than likely the person who is on that blog is now gonna come back and check your stuff. They're gonna see what's your blog about, especially when you're being really, really friendly, okay? I have a relationship with Natty Michelle and she's a big time blogger. She's worked with a lot of different brands and we've known each other now for the last couple of years and the reason that we talk so much is because I literally comment on her stuff all the time, whether it's on Instagram, because she posts a lot of her stuff there now, or on her blog. And so now we've developed an actual relationship, granted it's all on the internet, but a real relationship where we know each other simply because I continue to nurture that relationship over the years by supporting her content, sharing sharing her content, saying happy birthday and all of that. So that's the first thing that I want to encourage you to do is find other people's blogs that you like and enjoy and then start commenting on them and keeping up with them. Number two, another way to share your content is Pinterest. Pinterest is really powerful for bloggers. Now, I don't know every single thing about Pinterest, so I'm not gonna proceed to go into that, but maybe in the future I can get someone here uh, to talk to us about Pinterest and, and really using that. But I know that Pinterest is really big. It brings a lot of people over into my blog as well. Um, so I know that it's really effective, more so than anything else. And the reason being is because people go onto Pinterest to find it. It's like you know, it's another Google. So you want to create stuff that people are looking for, whether it's like maybe a how to on how to style something or how to decorate something or whatever the case is, because they'll go on. I mean, I do that all the time, especially for styling. I look up like, how do I get, you know, Kim Kardashian's uh, style, you know, um, whatever. And so then all these blogs pop up. So that's what you want to be doing is definitely making sure that when you post a blog, whatever the content is, you share it to your Pinterest. Pinterest. Another way, of course, is social media. So definitely look at the other trainings that are to come and the trainings that are available right now on how you can utilize your Instagram and your Facebook. But I'm going to say this. Instagram is really powerful for bloggers. Facebook, um, Facebook pages and profiles, not so much. But if you use groups, that's where you can really get, you know, a golden ticket, okay? But with Instagram, for example, you're gonna use your hashtags. You're gonna make sure that you find hashtags that are appropriate for what you're posting. So one example could be, there's a large, large network of bloggers here in Chicago. So using hashtags unique to the, the Chicago blogger nation <laughs> really is very helpful. So for example, um, there's a Chicago blogger Chicago, Chicago blogger. That's it. Um, that's a really popular hashtag. So making sure that that's included in your post, that then you say, go to my bio to click over into my blog post. Okay. So you want to find like, if you're in Nashville, look for a Nashville blogger or a, a hashtag that's unique to your city. That's also focused on bloggers. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's another way that you can definitely use uh, Instagram in order to grow your blog. And then again, remember, look for other bloggers on Instagram, like their stuff, comment on their stuff, 
build the relationship, talk to them in their DMs, you know, build a relationship. And as a result, you'll have more people checking out your page and ultimately checking out your um, blog. So those are the couple of tips that I have in terms of growing your blog. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. And then as I continue to grow uh, as well and just learn even more information, I'll definitely share it. And I'd love to also have other people here who have a lot of tips share their tips as well down in the comments or possibly in a future video. So that is all that I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you grow your blog.